Hello, YouTubers. Looky what I've got here. I've got eight Pentium Pro CPUs. They call these bad boys the holy grail of gold recovery. Apparently they are one of the highest um, gold content CPUs ever produced. Now, I think calling them the holy grail, that may be a bit of an exaggeration. There's maybe, you know, a third of a gram of recoverable gold per CPU. So that's a little under $19 at today's gold price. So I, I bought a couple of uh, old servers. Cheap. Really cheap. They're really old servers, old compacts. And I crack them open. They're big old units too. I crack them open and each one has four Pentium Pros in it. So I wound up with the eight Pentium Pro CPUs and that's not all. There were a ton, a literal ton of RAM sticks and daughter cards and um, all kinds of stuff in there. The motherboards, I swear, are as big as a football field practically. And they have hundreds of chips on them, including lots of gold corner uh, BGAs. In fact, I'm going to be doing a, uh, a video on recovering gold from gold corner BGAs soon, so watch for that. Um, and just just a ton of stuff. I mean, these, these servers, there, there's, there's gold fingers, there's, there's gold-plated... Uh, sockets and plugs and lots of gold pins and like I said lots of ICs which are full of gold bond wires and I'm getting pretty good at recovering those so these these servers are just you know I didn't pay much for them and just just loaded with gold now I was right at the point of cracking one of these bad boys open to try and figure out the best way of recovering the gold from them you know I was gonna take the I was gonna heat up the covers and pop them off and see what's underneath and uh, work out a strategy for getting the gold out of them but then I had a thought let me wait a minute and look these things up on eBay and I'm glad I did these things are selling on eBay for more than the gold content you know as collectors items or for other people who want to get the gold out of them or whatever um, so, you know, I'm tempted, I'm sorely tempted to go after the gold in them, you know, just, just so I can make a video of how I did it and all, but, you know, if it's really all about the money, which is kind of what the, uh, the gold recovery is for me, my best bet is to sell these on eBay instead of, you know, processing them for the gold. Because I can get more on eBay than the gold content. But if I was to process these, you know, I've got to put time, effort, chemicals into it. And then once I do get the gold, I've got to take it and sell it to somebody else who's going to take a cut. And in the end, I'm not going to make near as much money if I just put these on eBay and sell them, which I think is what I'm going to do. And I've still got, you know, and this this will more than pay for the servers alone if I sell these on eBay. And I've still got all the other gold you know, that's in the servers. It just needs a little work to get it out. In fact, I've already started depopulating the boards. Um, so, I think I'm going to do okay with this. Um, I'm still going to get plenty of gold out of those servers and plenty of money out of these CPUs. So, you know, that's the thing about urban gold mining. you got to look up what you got. Sometimes what you got is more valuable as what it is than is the gold that's in it. Um, sometimes, you know, I've come across old computers with RAM sticks in them that were selling for quite a bit of money still. And, uh, you know, it didn't make any sense to process the RAM sticks for their gold if I could just sell, sell them on eBay for more money. Um, you know, you just got to look at what you got. Expansion cards. There's a lot of old expansion cards out there that, uh, that are worth a fair amount of money on eBay. Uh, old Sound Blaster Pro cards, for some reason, go for a lot of money. So you got to look those up and make sure you're not you're not you know throwing away a lot of money just to get you know a few a few gold fingers and maybe a couple of uh, flat packs off the board, you know, and some connectors. No, you can make a lot more money just selling the whole board online. So watch for these on eBay soon. Um, maybe you could be the lucky winner of the auction they go into. Anyway, thanks for watching. Keep it safe out there. Bye.